I've just made it to the River Kwai. It's gonna throw it down with rain any minute. It's another 30 minutes walk to the actual bridge over the River Kwai. I thought I'll just wander down and have a quick look at the water before I get to get really, really wet. Those skies are looking menacing. Wow, look at that. Oh wow, I think I can see the actual bridge. Just there. Look at that with the sun coming down. It's going to rain any minute, so I've got myself a little taxi for 40 baht just to take you back because otherwise I think I'm going to get rained on. A quick room tour. This is my new bunk down here. I love this hostel. Very friendly, very nice. <sighs> I had a wonderful night's sleep last night. If I walk over to the petrol station over here, I can get a bus to Hellfire Pass. It takes about an hour and a half to get there. But I think they said it was about 60 baht for the trip each way. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go to the petrol station, which is just across the road here. And then I am going to go to Hellfire Pass. I've made it onto the bus, 60 baht, for about an hour and a half journey. Okay, the bus has just dropped me off. It's taken about an hour and a half to get here. And I've just arrived here at Hellfire Pass. I'm through the gates. There was a lovely gentleman there that told me where to go and what to do. So at the moment, I'm just walking down this path. I've got to walk all the way down, all the way round. And then eventually I will come to a building and that will be the museum. And evidently there are people who speak English in there that will be able to explain more about this site, about why it's a memorial, about what happened here. He also explained to me about getting back because I came on local bus. There are no times for the local bus, he says. Sometimes you wait one hour, sometimes two, sometimes four hours. It comes eventually. I hope I don't have to wait four hours in this heat for the bus to go back. We will see. While I was on the bus coming along, I noticed that the whole landscape was changing. The earth has become very red up here and the mountains are beautiful. But from Ketchabori where I'm staying, where the bridge over the River Kwai is, to here, it's taken an hour and a half by bus. That's a very sobering thought actually, because yes, I was an hour and a half on a bus, but the men, they walked it. I can't even imagine. Right now, it is May the 25th. It is 37 degrees with 51% humidity. It's very dry. The thought of walking all that way in this heat, as they did with little or no water or food. Yeah. We've got lovely stairs and a beautiful footpath to walk down. But if you look beyond that, it's brutal. I can't imagine walking down here without footpaths. I've got to the bottom of the stairs and this is the rail bed of the Thailand-Burma railway. along I just found the pins from the railway just sat on the rock there and the mosquitoes and the little whitey insects are everywhere wow
Oh. Somebody's left the poppy. So I've walked along here and this is the end of the short walk. This walk actually does go on for another two or three kilometres. I can't speak. Is one of the most moving things. The heat, the insects. No words. Oh wow. Just leaving Hellfire Pass and this little hut just there. That's the bus stop. The guy on the gate says he hasn't seen a bus in a while. So hopefully there'll be one along soon. Oh, please let there be one along soon. <laughs> and this is where I have to wait until the bus comes. And the bus could be here in 20 minutes. It could be here in an hour. It could be here in three hours. Who knows? Oh my goodness. I've been waiting an hour for this bus. <laughs> I hope it turns up soon. I'm exhausted and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. Hey, hey. I think this is the bus. I think it is. Perfect. Yay! I'm on the bus and it's the same driver as that I had when I came out. And I'm back, just like that. <laughs> Been really good and I've managed to get off the bus at the right stop. train station for the bridge over the River Kwai. I'm gonna go and get a ticket to go on the death train now. Oh my word, we're going over the bridge. This is the bridge over the River Kwai and I'm on a train going over it. Oh my word. 
ัวอาครับWhen you're actually stood here looking at this, knowing how that it was made, wow. way too many bits jutting out. I have to say my legs are a little wobbly walking across here. The concentration levels right now are immense. I just hope a train doesn't come one way or the other. This is just amazing. What an experience to walk through here. And all this was carved out by hand. The shrines in the caves are just so beautifully done. They're stunning. This country is so beautiful. It's 38 degrees today, and although the humidity isn't as high as on the islands, the sun is burning hot. I can't I can't put into words quite how hot it is. And when you consider what these guys built here, it is just staggering. Absolutely staggering. Guys must have been made of much stronger stuff because really nowadays I don't think people of today will last more than a day or so. the journey back now.
this has been a truly amazing visit. I am so glad that I've come here. I have to say this is the best thing I've done on the six months of travel. For all the reasons it's just made me feel. There's just so many things going through my head right now. I just can't believe that I'm here. I've walked right across the bridge over the River Kwai. 